everybody welcome back to dinner and a tip my name is Brenda and I am going to be your cooking guide if you haven't already please subscribe I would love to see some new people watching what we're doing today it's kind of an off day it's a little colder so it's comfort food day and to me there's nothing that says comfort food more than meatloaf and potatoes so I did go ahead and just kind of cut up our potatoes in chunks Potatoes are what takes the longest, so we're going to go ahead and get some oil and get these started first. Let that oil hit them. So I just want to go ahead and give the potatoes a good, probably tablespoon or so of oil. Get these broken up, and then we're going to add some bacon and onions and cheese to these. So to help these guys cook a little bit faster, I'm going to go ahead and throw these under the dome. And let's go ahead and get started on our meatloaf mixture. So for my meatloaf, I actually really enjoy doing a sausage and uh, hamburger mix. So I'm going to do the hamburger is, we have a 93.7 for our hamburger, but any kind will do but if you are doing one that has a little bit more oil or a higher fat content it's going to be a little bit messier shall we say so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to do one third cup of parmesan i've got one third cup of breadcrumb you can use breadcrumb panko um if you don't have that you can do crackers you can pretty much you gotta have that just to kind of help bind it. So I'm gonna do one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And I'm gonna do a half a tablespoon of fresh garlic. Not fresh, this is minced garlic. You can do fresh or minced. Actually, I'm gonna do probably a little bit more than a half. I'm gonna go ahead and got some onions here. This is probably like half of a small onion. If you like, you can go ahead and pre-cook your onions. I actually like putting them in raw and letting them cook. So I'm going to do a half a teaspoon of the Parmesan Ranch. I'm going to do some of our garlic salt. I'm going to do probably two teaspoons of this. Especially since we own, or actually we'll only do one teaspoon of the garlic just because we actually have some of the other garlic in there and the other thing I really like adding to mine and I'm going to do a teaspoon of Italian seasoning you can use fresh if you'd like and then let's not forget the egg the egg is what helps bind this together and just going to do a little bit of salt and pepper to taste Next, all we want to do is get a good mix on this. You don't want to over mix it, but you do want everything, the breadcrumbs combined into here. I was going to try these as skewers, but I think we're just going to go and do little baby meatloafs. The other option you have is if you wanted to do this as a burger, you could do a meatloaf burger. So I'm going to do about a half a cup each for these and then I want to get them all ready and then I'll throw them all down together so they're cooking all at about the same time so if you're doing a half a pound of each you're gonna get about four mini loaves here so I'm gonna go ahead and not do patties but kind of flatten them out a little bit make more little rectangular kind of more representative of mini loaves let's get those thrown on the grill so you'll have to tell me what you prefer to finish off your meatloaf if you're a ketchup person or if you're a barbecue me personally I'm not a big into barbecue and I'm not really big into ketchup but I am doing ketchup today and then we're gonna do a little sauce with our ketchup so all right not perfectly meatloaf shaped but it's gonna be good enough for today. 
And now that this is done, we're gonna go check on our potatoes. A little extra here. Pound that down. And since we are doing loaded potatoes, you cannot forget bacon. Honestly, bacon on the Blackstone is probably one of my favorite things. I think it just tastes so much better than cooking it inside and you don't have that forever bacon smell in your home. And some of this bacon grease is going to kind of like come down to our burgers, but I am all right with that. Make sure the potatoes are starting to get a nice little brown on them. We just want to give them a quick mix. And then we're going to cover these guys back up. If you want your meatloaf burgers to cook a little fast, you could also go ahead and cover them. Alright, so for our topping on the meatloaf, I just did one tablespoon of brown sugar and I'm going to do about a third cup of ketchup and then I'm going to do one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. You can just do plain ketchup if you like, but I actually like combining them both. So we're just going to go ahead and give this a quick mix and then we're going to put this off to the side. So for our potatoes, I'm going to go ahead and season them in just a few minutes. But I want to wait till they're kind of cooked before I go ahead and add too much seasoning to them. And then I'm going to go ahead and season them. And then we're going to add some cheese, some bacon, some green onions. And it's going to be awesome. Like I said, there's nothing better comfort food than just a good old fashioned meatloaf. And I like this because if I cook meatloaf inside, it takes over an hour for it to cook and started dinner a little late so I want dinner to get done a little sooner. And I can tell yeah, these guys aren't anywhere near being done but they've got a little brown on them so I'm going to go ahead and season these. And basically, everything I put in the meatloaf, I'm just going to put on our potatoes. I'm just going to do some Italian seasoning. I'm going to hit them with this Parmesan ranch. Can't forget the salt and pepper. And last but not least, the salt. And then I'm just going to hit with just a little bit of extra oil on this. That way I know all the seasonings are going to get cooked in here. You see our little meatloaf are coming along. And I'm just going to push these guys off to the side and cover them once again. Because they do take the potatoes probably are about 20 minutes The meatloaf probably going to be about 15. I will keep track of that. Alright, hamburger is different than this, so switching out the spatula for this. Alright, so this is probably going to take a little bit of extra time, so we are going to go ahead and kind of clean up our station. Going to finish cooking off this bacon. And then we'll be back to put this all together. See you soon. Alright, so we're back. I did go ahead and cover our burgers just to help get them cooking a little faster. So all we have left to do is... Our potatoes, once you can cook your potatoes and they actually are, you can run a fork through them, give them a quick taste, make sure they're cooked all the way through. I'm just going to add a little bit of cheese, a 
cooked bacon, a little green onion and chive. Just gonna let that cheese. So I did cheddar and Parmesan for that. And since these are done, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off. So for our barbecue mixture, not barbecue, ketchup mixture, I'm just gonna go ahead and give a good coat on our hamburger sausage. So go ahead and make sure you're cutting through this. Make sure this is all the way cooked, all the way through. And I like to do a pretty good helping. And I like to go ahead, make sure I'm getting it on the sides. I'm just gonna give this a minute to go ahead and cook in. And basically, this is the last step. Basically, this stuff is all the way done. All right. Oh, it smells so good. I love the Italian seasonings with this, the garlic. All right. And I'm just going to give this a second underneath the dome. But let's go ahead and pull some of our cheesy potatoes off. Those are going to be wonderful and hot. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these. I'm going to let the rest of these cook. But I am super excited to have meatloaf in half the time, and I love being outside anyway. So let's give the potatoes quick. Mm. I love potatoes on the grill. I don't know if I told you, when you go ahead and cut these potatoes up, go ahead and rinse them in water. Let the cloudy parts come off of it. That way you know you're getting rid of the starch. All right, let's check out this meatloaf. Mm. You know what? I normally just do pets on top. I love the idea of adding the Worcestershire sauce and the brown sugar with it. I think it puts it all together. Hope you enjoy your night. We'll see you next time and eat happy, guys.